This corned beef and pastrami sandwich is better than anyone you can get at any deli. Let's make it. This is one of my favorite sandwiches to make, so I'm going to show you exactly how I make mine. You're going to start with some marble rye bread with the seeds, also some thinly sliced corned beef and pastrami from the deli, also some Harvardi cheese. You can use provolone or Swiss. I like Harvardi. Some yellow mustard, some butter. We got to have some refrigerated kosher pickles because you got to, and also some plain chips with the ridges. And of course, some wine. Let's get this sandwich going. To a hot skillet, you're going to add your butter. And this butter is for us to toast our bread. I like the bread toasted in the pan. It just adds that nice crispiness that we need for this type of sandwich. Make sure you get all that butter on that bread. Once our bread is toasted, you hear that? That's what we're going for. We're going to put our cheese directly on here, and this is going to cause the cheese to melt just slightly. We're going to let the meat actually do the melting of the cheese. Now, when our bread is toasted, we take it out, and directly to that pan, we're going to add our pastrami, and we're also going to add our corned beef. Now, don't be afraid. Pile this on. We want that deli type of sandwich, and you know they load it up at the deli. And also, it's thinly sliced, so it's really not that much. The goal here is to get a nice sear or crust on both sides. So I like to keep it in a big pile, flip it over, and just get the crust on both sides. All the meat isn't going to be seared, and I don't want that. I don't want my meat crunchy. I just want it lightly seared. It really doesn't take that long, maybe two or three minutes. Once the meat is done, all we're going to do is just pile it high on our bread. We want the meat to touch all that cheese because this is what's going to melt the cheese. I start with my pastrami. I'm going to load it up and then I'm going to top it with my thinly shaved corned beef. Load that all the way up. Look at it. It's looking absolutely delicious. Lastly, you want to put a generous amount of mustard on your bread because this meat can stand up to the intensity of the mustard. And then guess what? You have your homemade deli style sandwich. Look at that. Tell me what deli you can go to and get this sandwich topped with so much meat. The only thing to do now is to add our chips and it's time to eat this thing. Look how much meat is on that sandwich. I'm going to try to eat it all. I like to cut mine down the center. I just feel like it's just appropriate for this sandwich. But you really can't get this value of sandwich in a deli without spending $15, $16. It's time for me to take a bite. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to dig in. You hear that crunch? That's what you want. You want that crunch. Everything tastes so good. The char on the meat, the melted cheese, the rye bread. This sandwich is absolutely scrunches. And we got to finish the bite out with just a little bit of pickle. And then that chip, and you have the perfect mesh of flavors in your mouth. Pastrami corned beef sandwich, my favorite. Bon appetit. Let's eat.